So we gotta find a way to get out of this pipe. Presumably from the high end. Damn, you're allowed down there. I don't even see what the stash would be if I get up there. Oh, there it is. Just, like, food, drink, and stuff. It's not super great. Can we jump up on top of this? And climb onto the pipe? Yeah, okay. And then just go across. Grab it fast. Next up, down into, uh, what was this? Emerald? Emerald something you said it was? Emerald, uh... Emerald City, basically. <laughs> Probably Emerald City. It's, it's probably the Emerald City. Well, let's let's go there. And I guess maybe just run out with this randomly. I don't know. Maybe there's just some anomaly hanging out with an artifact inside. Probably not. Light off, and we'll sneak in. Cause I'm not sure if this place is clear or not. I don't hear or see anybody. Seems like some just destroyed town, the village thing. All right. Wait. Ah, look at that. Jeez, that's... That's pretty fucking well hidden. It's a TRS-301. Wow. It took us, a, it took us a pretty good while to get one of these things. Back in the day. New step in development of this famous weapon family. The changes are made to the upper half of the steel construction comprising the barrel, gas tube, and bolt assembly. Reducing the weapon's weight, improving ergonomics, and its gas system. The weapon is highly accurate, although its propensity to catch dirt makes it a poor choice for the zone's difficult conditions. Well, damn. And it uses some of the uh, 556 stuff. Cool. We continue west to the swamp, right? Stingray 5. Don't see why not. Well, actually, I know why not. Could be getting them at uh, an emission soon. They happen very nearly daily, I think. Although we did have one before we set out. What time was it when we set out? Is that like 1400? We should be okay. Thought I heard a bloodsucker just then. I'll be over here. Got a fire up ahead. Ugh. Ugh, that's our crash site? Really? I have to traverse that. Alright, well let's go around and get to that little inlet that's out there. I guess. Looks like we might be needing the... Meat chunk? Chemical protection? Yeah. Looks like we might be needing that. And what's great about having just a little bit of radiation runoff is if it's green and blinking, I don't need to worry about it anymore. That's so nice. Because before it's like, well, it's green. We have radiation. We'll very slowly take damage, and now it's just like, ah, I don't need to worry about it at all. Really good.
Maybe we investigate that later. It's pretty radiated out there. <sighs> it's like not any better. I think the left click is just the default full strength throw. <sighs> Look at that though. Look at the fucking water. Jeez. Place is all fucked up. Another one there. So, like, a very careful, gentle path here. So, what am I doing here? Just, like, use the helicopter, I guess? There's a trunk next to it. Yeah, okay. The electronics inside burned out. Even the power cable sheath is melted. Okay. <sighs> the water is fucking cool. Ooh, PB1 silenced. With ammo for it. And antidote, like, is 150 chemical protection for a minute. Oh my god, in an army med kit. Alright, it actually tells you uh, what all it does. 200 health, 20 wound healing. For 5 seconds, this is over 10 seconds. Okay, and this trunk, do you not open? I guess not. Okay. So there's an artifact somewhere out there. Do we go for that? Can we go for that? I mean, I guess we can try, right? No harm in trying, supposedly. Turn chemical protection off and keep all the radiation resistance on. Is that it in the water? It is. I got it. That was, yeah. So jump to here. We're okay across. And then stay on this side, I think it was. No, this side. Okay. Easy, no problem. What did we get? Was that another meat chunk? It looks like it. So we got two fireballs, two meat chunks. Damn, look at me. Jeez, I'm a fucking stalker. Man. The next objective is... There's an oak pine anomaly down there. A fueling station, the claw anomaly. Old barge, a scar anomaly. There's a whole lot of shit to explore still. A whole circus anomaly, jeez. There's a bunch of stuff. Oh, the trader promised good payment for any ability you can find in the mercenary camp at the waste processing station. He's interested in the mercenary's plans. Yeah, give me a minute. Okay, well, let's head back, I suppose. Drop off stuff. Repair equipment and such. It's going to be nighttime anyway. And then in the morning, we'll head south and check out the other anomalies. Oh, I think we got zombies. Where, where is this? What is this? Sawmill. 
I've been right by the sawmill before, but yeah, we got zombies. Do we try it? Let's go semi-auto. Take it real slow and careful. Try going into the side door here. Eight blips. I hear one shuffling around. Gonna be coming up from behind me now, right? No. I guess I can also just hold the control just to walk. I'm also not making noise this way. That's good. So I don't need to crouch all the time because that is awfully slow. <laughs> he gave up. He's like, gonna oh, fuck it. All right. Right in the deck. That's probably radiated, right? shit again, are we? Where I actually have to loot the gun to uh, unload it and drop it and check quality and all that. Alright. Oh, that's bright. Okay, turn that back off. He's out. Yeah, accuracy's a little bit all over the place with this. But we could also try this guy. Keep the shotgun out. Because this is supposed to be a much more accurate weapon. It also has a one round, three round, or auto mode. <sighs> I'm not sure about... Oh, I thought I got him for a second. <laughs> Get rocked. It is getting pretty late, though. So let's try to wrap this up a bit. I 
Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't have a whole lot of carry capacity, but sure. Take a look at the gun. Load it, drop it. That's got a bit of ammo to it, or a bit of condition to it. So we'll keep that also. This one, we can drop that. Some of these I, I accidentally pick up. Slight problem. Okay. All right, it's three now for the assault rifle because I swapped them. There's a lot of zombies around here. Something to keep in mind. Like, a lot of zombies. So many of them. So we'll leave. We'll come back another time. So far, thoughts on this is I think I like it a lot more than Chernobyl. Um, it feels like everything's just generally more open. And the emissions are a nice added feature that kind of forces you to keep track of how long you've been out and what you're doing and what you plan on doing. Because you don't have all that much time. Depending on where you're going, you may or may not have proper shelter. Like, none of that over there, the sawmill, would count, I think, because it's mostly destroyed. Um, but, like, the anomaly thing is really interesting, the way that that's working so far to get more artifacts. I'm pretty sure every emission refreshes them, but they they rotate like next time the boiler anomaly might not have any artifacts, but then like the uh, the scar anomaly might instead. So you kind of have to do your rounds like the burnt farmstead might not have any next time, you know, so you just you kind of make your rounds if you're after the uh, artifacts. I like it. I like it a lot. And then there's areas like this where it's just some some underground cave. This doesn't even have a um, doesn't even have a, a location marker. It's just out there in the world. There's there's this cave system type thing that may or may not have anything in it. I like it. it it's it's all more open feeling again. It's it's good. I'm listening. So Hello. you. What brings you to our? You sometimes need artifacts. Flam and Firefly. Don't have either of those. I got Fireball and Meat Chunk. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, well. And out of curiosity, if I just straight up trade with you, yeah, you'll buy them. Pretty okay price. Jeez, uh, 3520 for those. And we'll head upstairs and see what they offer for them. Thirty-five twenty. okay, so that doesn't matter. Wasn't sure. Thought it'd be worth taking a look at. There's a barrel 5M armored suit that I can buy right off the bat. Jeez. Man, this game just throws you right into it, doesn't it? It took so long to get me one of those before, and there's a scope. A PSO 1M scope for about a thousand. Um, Common Soviet made five times fixed zoom optical scope with a range scale. You know what? I think I might. I think I might, and I can sell to you a bunch of grenades. This AKM 74 to you. And I'm pretty sure the Martha. The 412. And this old echo detector. Sunrise bodysuit, that's what I've got. I guess we keep this for backup or so. All right, so sell that, buy that, and drag it on. Drag it on. There we go. 
Okay. So that's got a scope. It's a basic scope. It's a five times zoom. Asshole. It is what it is. The... Yeah, 4 at 12. I've already got one in there. So let's stash my honorary thing. We'll keep the silenced pistol. The HPSS1M. It's the only one that I've got. Really good handling and accuracy. 13 magazine size. Oofed. Same with mine, though. Wow. We'll keep it. And I'll take a look at the TRS-301. We'll put its ammo away. I'll just add a curiosity check to see what its mods are. The vodka. Threw all of it in. The drinks threw all of it in. I'll keep a sausage. All right. Oh, yeah, and the armor. So I'm back down to 36 kilograms, which is pretty heavy, but I do have a weapon spare. You still, uh, dead? Dying? Yeah, you're still dead and dying. Okay. That's, that's fine. We'll, we'll sleep. Sleep until, uh, yeah, until six. Maybe he's awake by then. Yeah, rise and shine, huh? Hi, how you doing? So, you, uh, feel free to bring me all your broken shooters, suits full of holes and whatnot. I ain't have as good when I'm sober, but I'll give it a shot. I found this PDA, have a look. What do I need a PDA for? Whose is it? Barge's PDA. I found his dead body in the caves under the burnt farmstead. Barge is dead? I can't believe it. Oh, man. He was tough as they come. Oh, Barge, rest in peace. I hope Joker's all right, at least. Mm, okay. So that's it? Okay. I thought maybe he'd say thanks or something at all. Would be kind of cool. <laughs> How much did I repair that? A thousand? All right. And we'll take a look at this. Magazine size plus ten. And yeah, he needs vodka. So don't, don't get him over drunk. Otherwise he goes on cooldown. But, uh, I got it. I got it. Okay. And he can't mod any of this stuff. The silenced pistol polymer pistol for him to reduce its weight, increased magazine size, increased accuracy. We'll go for that. Soft release, sure. Lighten it up a bit, sure. I don't really care about magazine size. Let's light up the shotgun also. Yeah, more fucking dogs out there. Okay, yeah, we need those basic uh, work tools, which may or may not be at the sawmill or similar. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I remember something about that, though, about you just find them out in the world. I'll eat a sausage for food. And I guess we're ready to head out. Uh, stash the gun. I mean, the armor's in a bit of a rough shape, but it's... Still okay. It's not like it's very good armor anyway. Although, actually... <laughs> actually, it is pretty fucked up, isn't it? Yeah, alright. Let's, let's swap then. There, we'll throw that away. Curious what upgrades you have. Oh, it tells me. On the bottom. Armor, chem, and red, plus 10%. Armor, impact, body weight. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, that's the um, overpressure. Yeah, all right. We can use the overpressure. That, that's fine. 
That's okay. Yeah, I can't even pull out the weapon here. Okay. Nice. And I'll uh, I'll keep the artifacts on, because why not? So let's head back out to the sawmill and check that out. Wrong button. I think out to the sawmill to check that out. And then the... Uh, might get an admission along the way. We'll see. And then the anomalies to the south if we have time. But the sawmill could probably take all day, to be honest. <laughs> 